On the 12th of December 2011, you ended up going to an auction with Dion. What were you doing at the car auction on that day? I was going there to help him bring back a van if he was going to buy more than, you know, more than one vehicle, two or three. A decision was made whereby, Dion, you would effectively purchase a van for yourself. How long after the auction did you take ownership of that van? The same day. Now, you weren't getting that free of charge, right? That's right. How much did you ask Dion to pay for it? Uh, 4,500. And in respect of that 4,500 pounds, how much had you paid for it at auction? Uh, 4,500. So you weren't making a profit? No. You had other vehicles that you might sell. Dion, what did you want that van for at that time in 2011? For work. Understand. What was the job then? Uh, uh, decorator. Now, just to be clear, I've seen an invoice for the van, and that was the invoice, presumably, that you paid, yes? Uh, yes. That's the invoice what I supplied to Dion. You yeah. received that? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I've lost it, but... There's no problem. It was understood that you had to pay back £4,500. Yes. And you were going to use it for business purposes. Now, when you gave him that van, and presumably he got the relevant ownership papers... Yeah. That's a van of a likeness. It's not the precise van, I want to be clear. Yeah, that's... that's Tony, at that point, did you get anything in writing at all? Uh, from Dion? Uh, no. When was he to pay the £4,500 by, please? He said, basically, uh, he's got two big jobs coming up and he was going to pay me in two instalments, basically £2,000 on the first job and then £2,500 on the next job. Did you reasonably believe, when you took the van, promising to pay £4,500, that that money would come from these two large jobs? Yes. But from what I can remember, I think... I'm pretty sure that I said to him, I'll 100% pay it within a year, but very likely a lot sooner. You know, I had work, but being self-employed, it's in and out, and so it didn't exactly go to the, my plans. Well, it can be very challenging. At some point in January to March, so about three months later or thereabouts, you asked Dion for some payments, yeah, correct? correct? As in, have you completed that contract? Where's my first 2000? Yeah. Between January and March, how much, of anything, did Dion pay? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Now, at that point, you seem to be rather cross, correct? Yeah. And ultimately, this results in a very, very difficult conversation, right? Yeah. Do you remember that conversation, Dion? Where's the money? Yeah, one of quite a few guys in. Did you have an argument? It was... Uh... Half an argument, if you sort of like... What's half an argument? It's like being half pregnant. <laughs> I don't like understand. Heated, heated debate, it's like, you know... Really... Yeah, it got, pretty, it got pretty heated. It was an argument. <laughs> yeah. And I suspect a quite serious argument because you don't have £4,500 just to give away, right? No, that's right. You're not a millionaire or a billionaire. No, I wish I was. <laughs> you continue to call Dion. Now, sir, did there come a time when Dion stopped answering the phone? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, I think he put me on block and then at the end... I don't think I did that, son. I wouldn't, Pardon? Do, I wouldn't do that. I think he did because it just kept going engaged all the time. Did you I block him? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't block him. Well, whether you did or you didn't, between 2012 and 2016, how much money did Dion end up handing to you? Uh, nothing. Why couldn't you get hold of him? Because I kept trying to phone him and it kept going engaged and then phoning him and sometimes it won't engage and he just won't answer. Did you know where he lived? Uh, yeah. Did you think about issuing legal proceedings against him in the small claims court, for example? No, not at the time, because he's been my friend for years, so I didn't want to go down that route, really. Also, you might have been in difficulty because you had nothing in writing, I presume. Uh, yeah. That was it, as far as you were concerned. He's got the van, right? You're £4,500 down. Yeah. Now, that was between 2012 and 2016. You've not paid him anything. Why not, sir? Um, not obviously, not deliberately, but... 2012, I got married in Rhodes. And... You seem confused about that. I'm not confused. <laughs> I'm not confused about getting married. I'm confused about... Right. Well, I'm a bit... It's like embarrassed to say that I got, you know, married and spent money on getting married in Greece when really... I knew I had a debt to a good friend of mine, basically, so... So, instead of paying your friend, you used the money on a wedding? Yeah. Were you invited to the wedding? Uh, yes, I was invited to the wedding. Did you attend? No. 
Was it partially because of this? Yep. In 2014, what did you do with the van? I sold it. What was wrong with the van? Well, it... Well, I seem to... I seem to remember it kept... One thing kept going wrong a bit. You know, I was always taking it to the garage. It was just not starting and this, that and... Understandable. Yeah. No good. Didn't work for you. Now, that's all very well. You weren't aware of it. It doesn't matter. He's not here suing you for buying a bad van. No. Question is this, sir. Yeah. You sold that van. How much did you sell it for in 2014? I'm pretty sure it's £800. £800. Now, it's been purchased for £4,500. Is that the first time you became aware that he sold it for £800? I heard for a friend he sold it for £800 and I tried to phone him. Understood. Now, bearing in mind you've got that £800, which would at least reduce the debt down, as far as you are concerned, to yeah. £3,700, did you immediately hand over the £800 to Tony, please, Dion? No, I never. Why not? Because I, I wasn't seeing him at the time. I sort of lost contact for a few years, and I don't think I had his number. Because I've, I've always had the same number, but he, I think you change your number all the time. I, is it that, more importantly, you wanted to bury your head in the sand? You Basically, yeah. Out of sight, out of mind, I think. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge render moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.